nice clean fight away my commanders at all times. Case for not gonna go to neutral corner, I tell you to go to. Man, that's how they call you out. Any questions over here? Yeah, Chris Wagner reading the final rules of the fight. Clarifying, make sure, making sure both boxers understand what the rules are. Sending them back to their corners. In a couple seconds, this is gonna light off. And we are on, touching gloves. So from here, Aaron, we got Rami Ibram in the red, white, and black shorts, and Joe Ricciotta in the black and blue shorts. Joe is from Chiang Mai, Rami Ibram fighting out of Philadelphia, Rami Elite. This slow start is very typical in Muay Thai. Um, both fighters feeling each other. These guys have over 150 fights each. I mean, they're, they're, there's a unbelievable experience in this ring tonight. So they're going to take their time feeling it out, seeing what each other's made of, seeing where the flaws, seeing where the weaknesses are. And then they'll slowly start picking this pace up. So this is a 15-minute fight. There's lots of time. See where Joe Ricciotta is finding his range with those front tips. Rami's trying to draw him in a little bit. He's trying to set something up. Work, Joe working those leg kicks early in the fight. Take a little bit of energy from Rami in the later rounds if he keeps hitting him. At this point though, it, it doesn't really do anything. I mean, you get a couple points from the judge's perspective. Rami hitting a Rami. couple big hands there. And Rami does have a lot of experience. He fought, fought professional boxing for a while, so we can expect to see him try to use that to an advantage yeah. with his hands. I agree. Rami's, Rami's going to throw some good hands. He's known for a good hand work. He's an, aggr he's an aggressive fighter. He's a well-seasoned fighter. Um, and he's, like I said, highly experienced. So you're not going to see him rush in, especially against a guy like Joe Chata. He's got so many fights. Yeah, 146 wins, I think they said. Pretty much. These two guys have more fights than everyone in the building put together. They put together, yeah. Just one of these guys has more fights than almost everyone in the building put together. And you don't get to that level by being foolish. No. Chad is really starting to sculpt something with that front cheek. He's kind of telling Rami he's not going to let him straight in for sure. But Chad is playing the typical tie, the the tie game. You know, he's letting Rami, the big aggressor, coming in, then he's hitting him with the counter kicks, hitting him with the teeth when he comes forward, just taking his time. Gotcha. Going into the second round, we have Ricciotta in the blue and black shorts. Rami Ibram in the black, red, white, and blue shorts. In the last round, we saw Ricciotta basically answering everything that Rami threw out with the front tip, keeping him, on, keep him at bay, keeping him on the outside. Um, Aaron, as you said, you gave that round to Joe Ricciotta. Yeah, Joe, Joe it, was, it was more typical style Muay Thai, what you see in Thailand. Obviously, Joe Ricciotta is from Thailand, so you're going to see it like that. Um, now you're going to see him start to pick it up a little bit. We're in, only in round two, but it's going to slowly start to pick up. And Rami's doing a good job pushing the action, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're winning the fight by forward movement. Joe Ricciotta, uh, he's, he's blocking the kicks. He's throwing those teeps. He's got an answer for what Rami's doing, even though he's moving backwards. You can win fights moving backwards. And you saw it. What do you think the answer for Rami is on this? I think the answer for Rami is to set things up. Don't be too aggressive for coming forward. Throw that jab out there, hit those low kicks low, then hit that body kick. And look for the openings instead of trying to force the openings. Like that. And you can see, you can see Rachad is starting to accelerate his strikes. His, his kicks are hard, Rachad's kicks are a little bit harder. Rami slowed it down just a little bit, almost like he heard what I was talking about. He's looking for shots. Yeah. 
At his, at, what's his disadvantage to pushing the action and being too aggressive with us? The, the, the disadvantage is, is when Rami becomes aggressive and he pushes forward, Rachada just sits back and waits, and he sees that opportunity, and it's, Rami almost is getting ahead of himself, allowing Rachada to see what's going to happen next, and Rachada just capitalizes so on it. So he's starting to telegraph stuff, yeah. Exactly. And Rachada, Rachada's been hit a couple. Rami's got a couple good left hooks on him because he's using that setup. He's, he's throwing punches and bunches there, and he's hitting them, but that also kind of lights a fire in Rachada because you see Rachada come back with a solid kick after that. Rachada is definitely starting to pick up the pace a touch. Yes. You see they're both trying to like body lock get the feet to the outside. Yeah. They call it themselves a stalemate, break it off. Yeah, you know, the, the fighters did a good job at breaking up. <laughs> 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 they, they did the referee's job for yeah. them there. Well, that's when you have experienced guys. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. You're not going to see these guys hitting off of the break illegally or anything like that. They understand the fight game. See, now Rami, now he's slowed down. He's not rushing forward as much. He's starting to land more shots. And Rami's trying to take advantage. Knees to the legs. Great round for both fighters. Shorts. Rami Ibram wearing the black, white, red, and blue shorts. The level of experience here, you're going to start to see the action pick up. Yeah, these guys have the first two rounds. They fell each other out. They know what's coming. They know what the style they're looking at is now. They know what the power is. So this, right, you're going to see three, four, and five. You're going to start to see it picking up a lot. There's Rami with that good uppercut. You see those good hands from Rami's boxing because he, he is a good boxer. He's been boxing a lot of years. And Rachada just effortlessly putting that left kick high. A good right hand from Rami there. Rami's trying to find a home on the left side of that liver. Throws an elbow, but the elbow was blocked. And again, the composure, the composure of Rachada is just amazing. It's just, just absolute poker face. Unintentional low blow from Rachada. Yeah, it happens sometimes. See, Rami's getting to work now. Good knee from Joe. Oh, and Rami, Rami protesting a low knee again. And Joe Wagner breaking him. Chris Wagner breaking him. Oh. Machado nice. with a nice little nice. dump. Very nice dump. And that's where the experience shows right there. That's what Machado's looking to do. Is he's looking to wait. He's he wants to counter a little bit off of Rami. Hit some solid shots and then counter. Rami's tied. Rami's hitting those he's knees. Going. He's tied up. He's sitting a little bit low. So he's hitting those knees to the legs, trying to slow down Machado's kicks. <laughs> and Rami kind of playing to the crowd there. Yeah, Rami, Rami talking to us, Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> now Joe Rachada is coming alive. He's been hit with a couple of Rami's hands. He's a little bit pissed off from that, yep. I think. Yeah, you're going to start to see this escalate. Yes. And like I said at the beginning, the third round, this is when things start to light exactly. up. Exactly. In a highly experienced Muay Thai fight. Oh. Coming up. Into the fourth okay. round, okay. we've got... Joe Rachada in the black oh. and blue out of Thailand. Rami Ibram from Philadelphia in the white, black, red, blue, and green shorts. Now, in traditional Muay Thai in Thailand, you see the fourth round. This is the most important round in Muay Thai. Um, 
this is the round that if you lose this round, you you, you lose a, you get an eight count against you or whatnot in this round. This this is this is the round that can change the fight. You can lose the first couple rounds. You win round four big, you can win the fight. This is America, so it's a little bit different here, but I'd still like to see these guys really fighting hard in round four. A little bit of a low blow there. Rashad yeah. is taking a break and, and Ra going right back into it. And Rami saw it and gave him the room he needed. And then again, that's the experience. These guys aren't these guys aren't just you know tunnel vision. They see everything. Good block by Rachada there. You start to see how fluid Rachada is with what yeah. he throws. And the timing. Rachada fighting long, typical Thai fashion. Yep. Coming with his hard kick there. And Rami beats him back with a footwork. Rami's beating him play for play. Great timing by Rachada, moving out of the way, Very cutting angle. angles. Beautiful angles yeah. now. Great timing. Typical Muay Thai from the Thai person. Just stands, waits, great range, great angles. Very nice. Goes in for the sweep, then for the elbow. Good head movement from Machado. Great head movement. Nothing really landed, nothing clean. And he's walling him out with that shin. The difference in experience here between Rami and Machado is Rami's had a lot of fights in a lot of different styles. Machado's had Thai 200 fights. fights in Muay Thai and Muay Thai alone. And, that, and it shows where Rachada is, he's so calm, he's just, like his shin is across, he's just relaxing, waiting for the ref to break this, which I don't understand why he's not. Chris is looking a little impatient there. Yeah. And Rami throwing with the hands. Friday night fights at Broad Street Ballroom. Brought to you by Adidas Sports Combat, Lucky Strike Bowling, Nova Graphics, and Mohegan Sun. We have Rami Ibram in the red, black, white, green, and blue shorts against Joe Ricciotto from Thailand in the black and blue shorts. This is going to be the final and decider. Yeah, this is really, I mean, anybody's fight. In Thailand, Ricciotto would be very far ahead on the scorecards, but we're not in Thailand. We're in New York City. So, I was just about to ask you that. Where do you think this fight is uh, yeah. is leaning towards right now? It, it, it's tough. It's it's really tough. I I'm leaning towards Machado though on this one so far. He, he's he's evaded everything that Rami's throwing. Most of it. Yeah. Um, he he's countered it. He's got those great angles. He's been working. He's been working really solid, hard body kicks. He's blocked almost all of Rami's kicks. Oh, and Ra Rami is staying in the pocket and banging down. And Rachad is totally happy to do that, meeting him with that yeah. reverse spinning elbow. This is good, clean Muay Thai right here. Big elbow. Tuck my life. And again, we have Joe Ricciotto, who is cool as the other side of the pillow. Although he is keeping his hands a little higher now, because he is... A he did big, get hit with a few of those good he's hands He's giving Rami some respect for those hands. Yeah. Wagner bounces him off the ropes. Oh! Nice Rami elbow for Rami. Elbow. You know Joe's there, he gives it back. Pissed about it. And Rami hits him a little bit low to the belt and stops. Yeah.
Nice elbow from Rami. He's starting to find his pace with those elbows, finding Fox. his distance, finding where he can plan, and Richard is answering back. Rami pulling that head down. Ben looking for that head down, get a couple knees to the head there. They weren't really hard knees, but they were there. Rami just going to town on those legs, man. And, and, and I mean, it's scoring and it does hurt, but it is a fifth round, so it doesn't, it's not gonna slow. It's not a high point. Yeah, it's not a high point. Rachada's tired. He's trying to take this round off, but Rami's not letting him. Which is very much in a, a, a tie way of like. And Rami. Ron... This fifth round could very well cost Joe Rachada the fight. Very much. Strategically, very smart move by Rami where he knew that a tie would back off on the fifth round. Adamus decision. The son of Palestine, Robin Ibrahim. There you have it, folks. Rami Ibrahim, your winner.